Yeah, Mr. Bernstein, we're trying to find out yes. um, how to get a P3 visa. P3 visa, you're an entertainer or are you a manager or an agent? Actually, my friend who wants to keep a, um, a party, he's keeping like a, and he wants to keep, take some entertainers up here, so he wants to find out what he needs okay. to do. Well, well, a P3 visa is an entertainer that is doing something culturally unique, okay? So if it is, there's really three different types of entertainment visas, and let me break it down for you, because may, the P3, I always find the P3 out of the three is generally the harder one to get uh, of one? the P3. Okay. Is generally the harder one to no, get. but that, uh, harder than the O? It's, well, let me tell you. One second. H harder than the O? I know I'm not an attorney, but harder than the O? Yes, but let me tell you why. Harder than the O? Stop saying these words. <laughs> you know, you taught me a lot over the yes. years, man. I don't believe the it's o, than the o. o visa. You have been my professor. If you, are, if you are an entertainer mm -hmm. of substantial recognition. If you're the Michael Jordan in your class. Yeah, but you don't even, but yes. Generally for O visas, you, yeah. can be, you have to be the Michael Jordan of your class. Right. Except when you're talking about artists, um, artists, okay, such as a um, singer or dancer. Mm -hmm. Then you just have to be playing in the NBA. You don't have to be Michael. You don't have to be on the all-star all team. And which visa okay? is that? That would be the O visa. Mm -hmm. So if you reach that level of recognition, mm -hmm. it's very easy to get the O visa. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, um, we, we've gotten plenty of O visas. I don't want to go through clients' names, but we've got plenty of O visas. Don't go now, through the ones that you've done Right, me. right. Now, the P1 mm -hmm. visa is for artists of recognition who are members of a group. So it's the, right. the group has the recognition. Right. Okay. The P3 visa is for an artist who may not be able to qualify for an O visa, is not a member of a group, but is working in a culturally unique area. Right. Okay. I find that the immigration service gives us the hardest time when with comes. when it comes to why is this culturally unique? Oh, I see. So, no wonder you're the attorney. Man. That's right. Why is this culturally unique? Just because you come from a foreign country? Reggae music is no longer a culturally unique phenomenon to Jamaica. So just because you are in the reggae genre, mm -hmm. okay, does not make you a culturally unique artist. Not anymore. You have to be culturally unique as a reggae artist and doing something else that is culturally unique. But if not, I always find it's very hard to, to really sit down and argue out that it is culturally not to say that we haven't gotten our P3s approved yeah, we yeah. get our P3s right. approved mm -hmm. you have okay? P3s for me also that is correct I'm just when you're asking me what is the easiest and the hardest the most work goes into the P3 visa okay. now what you have to be able to prove is that you have some recognition okay you're not just some guy who's uh, on a street corner you know singing and people are throwing dollars in your hat you have to, you know, maybe you have a record, you've performed in places, um, you have articles written about you, um, you have reviews of your work, you get testimonials from people in the business who say that you're, you know, X, Y, Z, you're up and coming, you, you've made it, whatever it is that they can say that, that you are more than just a struggling artist. You have to reach that next level. So... Uh, what you need to prove is that you're, you're, you're culturally unique and that you, and that you have recognition, okay? Uh, if you're a member of a group and we can make you a group, we can take that whole culturally unique thing out and just get the P1, okay? And then if you re reach that higher level, okay, that you're playing in the NBA, okay? You don't have to be an all-star, but you're okay. playing in the NBA, then we can get you the O visa, and we don't have to worry about culturally unique again. So what about if Got it? What about a person who like um, they have a radio show, or a television show, and um, they, they do like um, MCing for shows and stuff? Well, they're 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 an uh, they're an entertainer. Uh -huh. um, maybe they're culturally unique because their radio show has a certain. Uh, they're not a mainstream mainstream, um, you know, pop forty, you know. Um, I guess personality, and I guess that's how we would argue that it would be that that person's culturally unique. And yes, uh, probably that person would get a P3 visa. They would probably not get an O visa, but maybe an O visa, depending on how well known they are. So can this be done? Do I need a lawyer? I gotta go through. 
You absolutely. When you're, uh, my opinion, you're asking a lawyer if you need a lawyer. Okay, so the, uh, the uh, lawyer, please. the lawyer is always going to say absolutely you need a lawyer. I've never met a lawyer, including myself. Oh, but you have said. I've that. told people actually. Yeah, right, 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 said, right, right, right. No, but in, in these circumstances, I think you need a lawyer. Okay. All right, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right, cool. All right. Bye. All right, no problem. By the way, folks, for all my OVs, P3s, and P1s that I've filed for a lot of individuals who have worked with the uh, LinkUp Media group of companies, right. I've always used an attorney. And um, I don't know if you folks know who that attorney is. It's not Brad Bernstein. It is Brad Bernstein, though. <laughs> Another attorney in my office. Another attorney in your office. That is correct.